Our roles, jobs and functions in society evolved from nomadic hunting and gathering to farming and agriculture in established settlements. Trade routes were established and life and business became more complex. Unlike the jobs that we are performed by the first humans, ours are more complex and can be classified in a number of different ways. For example, skilled versus unskilled and technical or specialized versus general. We now also called some occupations a trade and others a profession. There is no exact way to define or categorize a profession. Instead, we consider the eight attributes or that provide guidance in identifying the existence of a profession. These include a clearly defined knowledge base, a rigorous process of education and certification to gain membership. The roles performed can be linked to serving the community, some level of authority to self-govern and act with autonomy, adherence to an ethical code that guides behavior, a unique and identifiable culture, the use of professional judgment, and structures for governing itself. We can use doctors as an example to apply this framework and see if they satisfy all the attributes of a profession. The first attribute is a systematic body of theory and knowledge. This refers to standards that prescribe the knowledge, skills and competence required. For example, in the medical profession, the Australian Medical Council developed standards for medical education and training in all phases of medical education. For qualifying, a doctor is required to complete a medical degree and thereafter complete a year of supervised work-based clinical experience. After qualification, a doctor is required to complete specialist medical training and continued professional development programs. This indicates an extensive education process. Doctors are often seen providing medical and health care for society. In many instances, doctors often provide pro bono or free services to communities in need. For example, after a natural disaster. A high degree of autonomy and independence exists in the medical profession since the Medical Board of Australia regulates Australia's medical practitioners. This board also develops codes and guidelines to guide the profession. Doctors have a distinct ethos and culture in terms of the technical words and jargon they use, often the clothes they wear, traditionally the white coats and stethoscopes, as well as the distinct title of doctor in front of their names. Doctors apply professional judgment for every patient they see in terms of identifying symptoms and judging the cause of problems based on the symptoms. Further, the decision of how best to treat the problem requires the application of professional judgment, especially when the patient is using other medication or has other complications. And finally, the Medical Board of Australia serves as a governing body for doctors. That is, doctors need to register with the Medical Board in order to practice and would be subject to investigations by the Medical Board if there are complaints lodged against them. The existence of all of these attributes leads to the conclusion that this occupation is a profession.